I don't remember anything about last time, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm assuming it's uh, it's more relaxed this time. I have no recollection of being there. I was informed yesterday that I had an impromptu sing song around the piano with Joe Cocker the last time I was here. I have no recollection of it whatsoever, which is quite scary. But um, yeah, yeah, here we are. I guess there are a few moments in life that are sort of a bit blacked out and a bit blurry. Yeah, but some some you black out for a specific reason because mm. you don't you don't want to remember them. But I mm. but some but I genuinely have no recollection of being in this country yeah. at all. I don't know <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know where I've been or what I did. If I offended anybody when I was here last time, yeah, you probably deserved it. Um, no, <laughs> but um, it's yeah, it's nice to be back. Yeah, it's nice to have you back. Is it nice uh, touring this album around into different parts of the world that um, haven't had you play live for a wee while? Well, it's easier to uh, organise stuff because if I want to mm. come to New Zealand or if I want to go to Tonga, then I'll go. Mm. I don't have to worry about anybody else. Anybody else's schedule, I just yeah. pick up the guitar and off I go. And, um, mm. But uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to. Uh, it's, it's more satisfying when you're doing it with your own record, you know what I mean? Mm. When you're with a band, it's a, di it's a different thing. It, it was a fantastic thing we all created and, and it was great and we all shared in the glory and we all shared in the, mm. uh, the, the bad times. But this is, this is different again, it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's more satisfying in a way. And I imagine it's nicer as well because you're completely in control of the whole thing. You can give interviews when you want. You can talk about it when you want. Yeah, it's your it's your yeah. baby essentially. Mm. We're, we're making this record. I know we just talked about this off camera, but sort of, you're just saying when you're recording this thing, you're not really worried about what other people are thinking about it. No, people take music too seriously. Yeah. The only people that should take it seriously are the listeners. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've no, I've been in studios with people, labour over every single minute detail of a record and it's like I, to me I get in there and I I enjoy my time in the studio and I'm making music I'm not making political fashion statements or statements in time mm. do you know what I mean like I say to off camera it's only music that record there will be forgotten about this time next year and then you just move on and make another one yeah. you know and that's it but people take music in the music business so they get so up their own ass about it you know and it's just a bunch of songs do you know what I mean has that always been your attitude yeah. or are you thinking that more recently no that's always been yeah. my attitude it's only music you know and if, you know, if you make a record it doesn't sell make another one and that might <laughs> yeah you know it's like people yeah. treat everything it's like it's like you know it's like the end of the world mm. If this album doesn't do it, it's the end of the world. You know, it's not the end of the world at all. It's like, go and do some gigs. Go get out there, play it to the people, make another one. That's what happens, isn't it? Yeah, and that means you're not getting stressed out about it. You can just go and do no, what you do. Not. Well, we have a duty as rock stars or whatever, or whatever we're known as. We have a duty to at least sell the illusion to the next generation that this is the greatest thing in the world. Mm. There's a lot of hard work that goes into touring and all that. Mm. Well, kid thought I didn't want to know about that. When I was watching David Bowie on the telly in the 70s and Mark Bolan and the Sex Pistols, they were never going, oh, man, it's just, you know, it's just so much hard work. And they, were, they were just living by feather boas and driving around in fucking private jets. That's wild. That's not a bad way to no, get made you know, a rock, You know, rock and roll will eventually die if you don't sell it to the next generation because it's only a story that gets retold. Yeah. You know, the kid's sitting there with a the guitar thinking, yeah, I was going to start a band, but it looks like a lot of hard work. I'm not moaning. <laughs> You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you, I guess, look, looking back over your career, would have you done anything particularly different to make it easier on yourself or, or harder or anything else? Or are you pretty happy how it's gone? No, I've got to be, I've got to give it 99 out of 100. Hmm. But if I, could, if, I could change one, if I could change one thing, it would be that after that big gig at Nebworth and the album Morning Glory was still kind of riding up in, in the charts mm. we went to the states for that ill-fated tour mm. and we shouldn't have gone we should have done the gig and then gone away and disappeared yeah. for a few years yeah. and um, let the myth grow and done a bit of living but when you're young and that you just want to carry on working you know it's yeah. kind of we were in we were involved in the biggest party that had ever been in 30 years in England and it was our party 
mm. and you just never want it to end, you know. And uh, we yeah. carried on until it really kind of until the wheels fell off, really. But that's yeah. the only thing. That, all the ups and downs and the trials and tribulations and people getting arrested and people being sacked and all the mm. chaos and scandal. I wouldn't change any of that. It was, yeah, it's great. Are you um, are you enjoying getting up on there on stage and, and fronting this thing? Are you getting used to being, you know, the I mean, you're the frontman. You're the you're the prime focus. Yeah. Well, I'm not I'm not under any illusions that I'm a good frontman or a great or a great frontman. I'm not under any illusions that people are coming along to see me. Well, they are. They're, well, I know really? they come to see me, but I'm not Mick Jagger. Do you know what I mean? Then, mm. um, God forbid. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm just they, they come to hear the songs. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You don't. I, you, they, they, they come to see me, do you know what I mean? And, and, but, but I don't, there's nothing from, there's nothing to see me do apart from stand and play the songs. It's not a big ego but thing I, for you? No, not yeah. at all. No, no. And when I first started on this adventure, let's call it, um, I was a bit concerned within myself that I'd get, that I wouldn't be able to, that I wouldn't enjoy it, you know what I mean? Because I spent so long being a sideman, I fucking, I love that. Sideman. Yeah, Sideshow Bob. That was me. I was brilliant at that. I was the best in the world. I was yeah. the best in the world. You were really good at it. I was. Mm. I was the best in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And um, but anyway, circumstances being what they were, I kind of, you know. But you know, I did a few rehearsals and I thought, yeah, you know, I enjoy it. And then I surprised myself. I've done. Mm. I've been on tour now since October, and I'm really beginning to enjoy it. I'm not. I still got no moves for the kids. So I don't do much. <laughs> but I'm kind of. Yeah, you know, they I they I turn up in good faith that they've turned up to to hear, to hear the songs, and that's what it's all about. Then I'm your man, you know. I guess the surreal thing um, for you, for, I mean, in New Zealand for us, is that you're playing the last slot in the Big Day Out, which is it's the last year for this festival. It's been here for 18 years. Oh, it's an unbelievable trick of irony. Uh, I've come to dance on its grave. Yeah. yeah. Will you do a little dance up there, do you think? I won't do a little dance, <laughs> no, but... Um, yeah, but it's, an, it's such an unusual thing. I was on the plane know? coming over and I was going, oh, you're doing the big day? Oh, mm. great, you know, it's the last one ever. Uh, don't tell me that. Yeah, it's a bit, it's no, a bit I mean, of... What are you telling me that for? You want to be going to the biggest party Yeah, around. it's like, was yeah. it someone... I don't know, why have they invited me in? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, as you went back on the solo But yeah, I, do, I guess it's the way of the world now. There's, there's a lot of... Uh, I mean, I don't... Uh, I don't know what it's like in New Zealand, obviously, but there's a lot of festivals around the world now, do you know what I mean? And, um, there are, yeah, there are more coming here as well, it's yeah. more competition. It's a shame, it's a shame, because I guess bands like, the big American bands, certainly, and the big British acts, I guess it's maybe the only time they get to play in New Zealand mm. is for the travelling festival, but... It is, yeah. Know. Something will take its place. If there's a, if mm. there's a, if there's a need for this kind of festival, to carry mm. on, then something will rise in its place. It's just the law of nature. Yeah. Well, it's nice to have you here, closing it off. It'll be a, a surreal atmosphere out there, I think. Yeah, I don't. I am. Yeah, I'm. I'm but will it be like? Uh, I don't know. Be like last night at the proms. Yeah. Sort of like that. Well, there might even be a few tears. Great. Who knows? But as, no, as, like, as, as long as I get paid, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever not been paid? Uh, been to a few places in the world where it's best to get the money up front. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, Russia. <laughs> yeah. You've got something to answer for. Yeah. Look, what are you? Uh, what are you mainly looking forward to um, this year? Is there anything on the horizon that you're really excited about? Well, I, I've, this, this is my first. Today is my first ever festival as a solo artist, and uh, it's ironic that it's going to be the last yeah. ever big day out. But um, I'm looking forward to. I, lo I love festival season around the world because all the bands you never get to see. And you've heard of them like Foster the People and Cage the Elephant and, and all that. And I haven't seen my mates, very good friends of mine, Kasabian. I've not seen them for a few months. Great. So you, can, you kind of get to meet them. It's like a little reunion. Them, yeah. yeah, what have you guys been up to? Yeah, and um, so I'm looking forward to that. But I don't, I don't really look forward to one thing in particular more than others. It's mm. just, it, it's a happy camp at the moment because the record's Great. been really, really well received. It's selling like hotcakes in England, I can't, I can't get rid of it fast enough. And, um, Did you expect that or is that no. still is that a genuine surprise? How quickly no, it's selling? I, no, I knew, I knew out of all the records that are made, this was a good one. Hmm. Well, I thought good records that I'm involved with are usually successful. Hmm. But I didn't, but with the way the music business now, it's like, it's slowly dying, do you know what I mean? It's kind of shrinking. 
So I didn't realise how many records it would sell, but I was pleasantly surprised by that. But I, I, I had a feeling it might be well received. Mm. But um, yeah, it's just like it's a happy camp at the minute. I'm just enjoying doing it and going to mm. tore the arse right out of it until the wheels fall off and then uh, <coughs> go and indulge my wife for a year or two. Yeah. Do you keep that's an not, eye? That's, that's not sexual <laughs> euphemism for anything. I literally just going to indulge it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, do you keep an eye on your brother's stuff and how he's going? Do you I know, keep yeah, I know what they're up to. I think they're just about to make another album. I mm. talked to Gem and talked to Gem over Christmas. Um, mm. Yeah, they're all geared up to do another record. Right. They're getting on all right. Do you text your brother and keep in touch, or is it just? Uh, a, do you no, we don't, time? no, we've never been that kind of family anyway. But mm. I'm in touch with my mum and my other brother and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, but no, they're, they're getting on doing their thing, and um, I think they've. Um, they're in a good position, I think, BDI at the moment, because they're, you know, they've got, uh, they've still got a little bit left to prove, which is always, I've always enjoyed being in that position, do you know what I mean? I've kind mm. of, with this one, everything that I thought might take about two or three years, I've already done it already, I'm already playing arenas back in England, yeah. and I'm a bit like... I wanted to work harder for this. Yeah, how's that happened? How am I going to follow this up? Yeah, too easy. Yeah, so, um... That's a good problem to have. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. You know, he, he's well been successful, it's not. But I think um, the BBI mob, uh, I think they're in a good position. I think, I think they'll be all right. They'll be all right. Cool. Well, look, I look forward to seeing you play tonight. Yeah. A lot of us are. I'll be there. Middle of the stage, denim shirt, red guitar, yeah. big smile. Fact check. <laughs> I hope we're paying you well. I hope we're paying well, you well. I'm getting the going right. Yeah. Yeah. They're not yeah. paying me any more, any less than what I'm worth. Yeah. <laughs> did you watch? Curiosity, did you watch Ricky Gervais at the Globes? Um, oh, did he do it again? Yes, he did it again. No, yeah. no. Well, I, I, I've been watching the news. There's not been that much controversy, so he couldn't. Have said no, no. He well. wasn't quite as crazy as last year. Yeah. Just curious who kept up. No, he's no, a, no. He's, a, he's no, a funny man. No, I've seen uh, there's a bit of there's a bit of beef between Madonna and Elton John. Isn't there? Yeah, they had a bit of a go. I think Elton had a bit of a go at Madonna, and then Madonna won the. One. The globe and yeah, well, all that. Good yeah. luck to them. Where do you keep your awards? Are they lined up on a shelf you know what? or something? What I do you do with them? Say, well, I don't know whether you will believe this or not, but I don't actually keep any of them. I've not got. If you walked into my hmm. house uh, and turned down all the pictures of me and my missus, <laughs> you wouldn't think you were in a rock star's house. Hmm. I don't have any gold discs, and I don't. The awards. The gold discs I keep in a lock-up, and if any charity is looking for something to raffle, I always give them mm. away. And the awards, believe it or not, I always get rid of them on the night. Right, you just... just where do you put them? Well, well I don't... <laughs> you well, you, see, you end up carrying it round. Yeah, so you like hand a, it to like someone at some point. No, I just... I, there'll be somebody who works for me. They've all got... They've... My PA. Their just house is littered with... Songwriter of the year and all this carry on, and the girl who does the accounts and the girl that's after the merchandise, <laughs> and it's just like because I don't want to carry it around all night because no. you look like yeah. you look like a bird at a you know do you know what I mean? You just want to just oh. prancing around with this award. Yeah, yeah. It's me, me little Brit. So I just go. You just you. pound them off. What's your name? How long have you worked for me now? Do you want this? Have it. You know, and um, I've given them all away. Yeah. I don't think it's good for the soul mm. to have all that stuff lying around. I certainly don't think it'd be good for my two boys growing up, if mm. they want to get into music, to mm. see the weight of their incredible father's monstrous <laughs> success. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> just what I mean? Shelter them from yeah, that Yeah, just like shelter them from that a bit. And they say, that's too... So you sold all those records. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, thank you. Thank you very much, um, man. It's been a pleasure meeting nice you. Um, 